part five of operator training demonstrates troubleshooting procedures. Occasional processing problems or jammed items can stop the flow of documents. For units with a start-stop button, you can clear documents from the track, in most cases, by simply holding down the button. If documents do not clear using the start-stop button, gently pull items to remove them from the track, feeder area, or pocket area. A specially designed cutout area at the rear of the unit provides for convenient document access and removal. If jams become frequent or the same type of jam occurs repeatedly, remove the covers and inspect the track for possible obstructions. Small pieces of paper can be removed by rotating the belt pulley. Use the track clearing tool to remove small items such as staples from the track. Replace covers and wait for the middle status light to stop flashing before refeeding documents. Wait several seconds for the middle light to be solid green or solid yellow. Documents that are not completely pocketed need reprocessing. Typically, your application will indicate completed documents. Sometimes pocketed documents may also need to be reprocessed, as in the case of double documents that get sent to a pocket. When problems occur, first, read the reference card, which can be stored under your smart source unit. The installation and operations guide provides additional information to correct problems. Check the status lights for problem indication. No top light likely means the unit is not plugged in or powered on. A flashing middle light may mean a track needs clearing or the unit is not connecting with your application. When documents do not feed correctly, check the feeder tires or separator belt. Also, Check that the paper does not have a glossy coating. Be sure to properly prepare documents for proper feeding. Poorly prepared work can lead to missed code lines or cutoff images when items are raised or tilted in the stack. Leading edges that are not aligned can cause stops at the feeder. Be sure the bottom edges of documents touch the bottom of the feeder floor when feeding. Double documents may result when items are not separated by fanning or jogging. Rotate or replace the separator belt when an increased number of double documents are experienced. Skewed images are typically caused by poor document preparation or incorrect feeding. Clean the image glass when images appear dirty or have streaks. When paper buckles or jams in a pocket, check that the pocket limit is giving adequate space for documents. Also, check for broken pocket fingers. Contact your supervisor for assistance. Your supervisor can collect device information to report to Unisys for troubleshooting. This completes video training for SmartSource series operation and maintenance.
go to www.infoadvisor.com for documentation and frequently asked questions. Go to www.unisysdirect.com slash locations for supplies, consumables, and replacement parts. Go to www.unisys.com slash products slash support for other issues or problems.